developer on the Configurable Apps team where we design and build focused interactive applications that are available in ArcGIS Online and Enterprise. These applications use the latest version of the JavaScript API, so we can take advantage of feature layer performance improvements, enhance visualization techniques, pop-ups with arcade expressions, and multi-land labeling to build performant interactive applications. We design and build all of our applications mobile first, and we work hard to ensure they meet accessibility standards. This task is made easier due to the work the JavaScript API team has done to build responsive, accessible widgets. All of our apps are open source and available in the Esri GitHub organization. I've created this uh, URL, esriurl.com slash cats, where you can look at the source code for the latest configurable apps, including the ones that I'm showing you here today. This is the Interactive Legend. This is a feature exploration app that lets you explore and visualize your map data using the drawing styles defined in the web map. So we can use this app to explore the distribution of one category of power plant around the world, or look at the relationship between multiple categories. When you click on a category, you're actually using the feature filter in the background to filter out the features that don't meet the expression that you provide. This app optionally also uses the feature effect, where you can define an excluded effect to de-emphasize the features that don't meet those filter requirements. Here, we let you configure the opacity and grayscale to mute the background features. Another nice feature of this app is that if you want to create a printout showing the location of one particular feature, you can use the screenshot tool. You can choose to include the pop-up, define the map area that you want to show, and it will generate a printout that you can print and add in a report or share with others. Esri recently released a set of hosted feature layers that provide access to OpenStreetMap data, currently for North America. I created a web map using this data, the amenities layer, and filtered it out to show only the restaurant information. So I added this to a web map and shared it with the nearby configurable app. This app shows features within a specified distance of a click location. So here we're looking at restaurants in the Palm Springs area. We can use the slider to perform a client-side query and quickly see features within a shorter or greater distance of our current location. One of the nice things about that OpenStreetMap data is that it's updated every minute. So yesterday afternoon, I went to get a cup of coffee and noticed that this coffee shop was not included in OpenStreetMap. So I added it earlier this morning, and it appears in our application. API enhancements like smart mapping, rich pop-ups, accessible and responsive widgets, and more allow us to build applications that look and perform better than ever before. We're excited to see the kinds of apps that you share using these configurable applications.